Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel Kate May Modern Day Mystic. We are looking at Easter. I've created an Easter tarot spread which I'll have to find uh, somehow but Easter. So um, for me Easter when I was little we used to celebrate Easter uh, at like most schools as the uh, rise of Jesus after he was sacrificed on Friday from the hot cross bun day and we would have hot cross buns on the Friday, we would have Easter eggs on the Sunday, we would um, be told that um, the cross on the hot cross bun is significant for the cross. But I never quite understood why the different, you know, I thought, well, Jesus was born apparently on the 25th of December, so that's why we have Christmas, this is as a kid. But why does Easter always change? Why is that a different day? If he rose, surely he rose on the same day each year. Surely that didn't change, just like, it just didn't, didn't make sense to me for years later, until years later. When I started getting into um, paganism and the natural cycles of the moon and, and, and spiritualism and I could see things differently, I was then like, oh, okay, so that will be why, that will be why. Um, it's got nothing, for me personally, it's got nothing to do with the Christian reality, re religion to it. It's the pagan religion, the hot cross bun being the spring season. I've already done a YouTube video on that. Um, and the Easter time, Ostra, being the new beginnings that go with that, the spring, the spring equinox, the bringing the light in after the dark, and the eggs symbolizing fertility, the rabbits symbolizing fertility there, and the new growth, the daffodils, everything coming up to bring new growth, fertile ground, new possibilities, new hope. And then of course, um, commercialized people came in, let's make so loads of money turning it all into chocolate there. I believe they would have had their own little feasts back in the day, but probably not to the extent that we do now, me included, because I've, put, I've eaten tons of eggs already and it's not even Easter just yet. So um, let's have a look at your tarot for, let me just grab it up on my screen. Your, I have created, I'll have to probably get my Canva up. I've created a, a tarot spread for Easter, just like I do for each, move that, sorry, uh, for each of your um, where are we? For each tarot spread, is it that one? April tarot scopes? No, let's see what we've got here. So let's see if I've pulled up the right one here. So we're going to have a look at what I've created. Oh, I might have to move this. Not organised at all, am I? Yeah, it's here. Okay, let's move this over. So let's have a look at your Easter, your Easter tarot cards. Okay, so the first thing that we're looking at is. What is the Easter energies around us now? I know this is general for you, but I do believe that those that watch this, those that um, tune in to me, definitely will still get a meaning. It will still make sense to you. My Easter picture there has gone out of sight. So let's have a look. What is the Easter energy around us all at the moment? One second. I should get organised. I've been teaching this morning and... Uh, I've still got all my cards out. Okay, so the Easter energy around us at the moment is... Da, 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 da. The Easter energy is the Page of Pentacles. So, oh, pages and new beginnings, we love that. So the energy is around practical things. Even though we're in Aries um, Sun at the moment, coming into Aries New Moon, we've got an Earth sign there, so Earth. So fertile ground, and this what is what this card is about. New beginnings, new ideas, everything around earthly or um, practical things or financial things, home things, things that have got a material connection there. So the energy around us at the moment is full of hope, full of new beginnings, but also fertile, fabulous card for the Easter spread. And then the next one is, what fertile new growth should I focus on? So what fertile, couldn't make that up, could you? What fertile new growth should you focus on? Oh, it's the sun. Wow. We are coming out of lockdown, some of us, so this is going to be fun and freedom and enjoying ourselves. Very much a family card. Those that are wanting to have babies, crack on. Crack on. Now is a good time, definitely, for that. What other areas that you can focus on with your fertile energy? Well, this is all about connecting to your inner child, feeling creative, putting pen to paper, putting the music on, having a bit of a dance, being creative, being a bit silly, being taking things, you know, being carefree. You can see there that he's riding bareback. Maybe some of you should be riding bareback, especially if you want to be, anyway. 
Um, this is for throwing caution to the wind and just enjoying yourself. You know, like children don't really give a shit, do they? They just do things because they want to do things. They don't think about consequences. They don't think about what other people are, are thinking about them or how they look. They just do it. They wear what they want, what they're comfortable in. They dance how they want. They sing how they want. They're not aware of everybody um, condemning them or, or making taking the piss out of them. So the area to focus is just enjoying yourself. Get creative, get your pens and papers out. If you can get time with the family this weekend, with the Famalam, this is a great card for family. Children connections, if you are being able to reach out to your children there, your grandchildren there, or your nieces or nephews, then this is a great card for connecting with your family. But the fertile new growth that you should focus on is enjoying yourself, being the best you and being super, super creative and feeling happy, feeling content. What old ways need to be released now? Let's have a look. What old ways need to be released now? Ooh, interesting. Honestly, these were all picked straight away for you. You can see that. So what old ways need to be released now? Now, this is all about looking at the cup half full, not half empty. So your old ways of that doom and gloom, what you're wasting time on, really ask yourself, where are you wasting this time? Where are you putting energy into something that is just not serving you anymore? What you need to release, this is indicating old hurts, old wounds, things that are bringing you down. Now this might be easier for some than it is others because it could be quite painful if you have to detach yourself from people or from situations that you just know don't float your boat anymore. Sometimes that process, you've got to acknowledge it first of all, which is bad enough, and then actually doing it is a whole nother ball game. But this is asking you, what old ways need to be released now? It's asking you to think about, or have a look around you, all the gorgeous things that you've got. Bring in that positive energy. You know, I've done a, a blog for the new moon in Aries and it's very much around new beginnings, new you. Aries is the beginning of your sign uh, of the astrological chart. So it's all about new and how you can make yourself brand new. And this card really goes in with that with this time of year with the Easter. What old ways need to be released? Anything that's bringing you down. Looking at your cup half full is what you want to be doing, not half empty. We don't like that card today. That needs to be released. How can you reach your full potential for your destiny? How can you reach your full potential for your destiny? It's a good job a cat wasn't there, wasn't it? You won't believe this, but I've got my chair sat here as it is when I work, but my cat got in there. Let me just show you. So I, I didn't want to disturb him. So I literally moved the chair out the way and got another chair so I didn't disturb him. Cats and animal lovers, you'll know exactly what I mean. We complete, you know, when the cats get in the bed or on the chair, you just sit, don't you, on the edge, complete edge. They've got comfort zone, like living the life, and then we're on the edge. But pet lovers, we're going to do it. <coughs> um, how can I reach my full potential for my destiny? How can I reach my full potential? Oh, this card has jumped out. How can I reach my full potential for my destiny? It is the judgment card. Have a word with yourself, will you? Right? This card says to reach your full potential for where you should be going, you need a wake up. You need that awakening, that penny dropping moment, that like, ding -ding, that hallelujah, I get it, I got it now. Now, even this can be a little bit painful because there's a process to get to that awakening. But to reach your full potential, it's saying you need to open your eyes, open your heart. You need to listen to all the messages that are coming in and wake yourself up. This card is asking you to be judgment of yourself, of your actions. Take personal responsibility of things. If you want to reach the potential of your full destiny there, you need to be awake and doing something about it there. The gorgeous feeling around this card is healing. So healing past things, healing past wounds, and recognising that there is something better on its way for you. But in order to do that, you've got to be alive. You've got to come alive there. So to reach your full potential, listen to the big message and allow that penny dropping moment that aha moment and like I've got it and oh your Easter your Easter tarot message let's have a look at your Easter tarot message da, 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 da. it is the chariot I absolutely love this card it's my favorite card the chariot 
Your Easter tarot message is to stay focused. Stay focused on the goal in hand. Don't be distracted by all those Easter eggs and fertility actions that you might be having in the bedroom or anywhere else where you might want to. Well, anyway, moving on. So your Easter message is that you've got this. You can have victory over adversity. You certainly can win over any challenges there. You just need to remember to stay focused, to stay on top of things, and to stay um, in charge of whatever it is that you want there. You don't need to be so in charge that you're cracking the whip and being a real bossy boots. You just need to be in charge of your own emotions, personal responsibility. Oh, I've used that a lot, haven't I? So taking charge of where you, you are and staying focused. This card says that you will overcome obstacles. You will be able to overcome challenges there. The celestial influence from the 12 stars above connect to the 12 zodiac signs and the 12 months in the year <clears throat> and really can remind you that you are under a celestial protection okay now this card connects to me with the cancer the crab so you may have to sidestep a few things sometimes we have to sidestep to get where we want so be a bit flexible don't be so hell-bent on getting somewhere that you don't do the sidestepping because you could really make some mistakes and perhaps fall off your chariot but have faith that that end goal will come in for you, okay? And that, lovelies, is your Easter message for you all. So I have a fabulous message, message, have a fabulous Easter. Try not to gorge too much on Easter eggs. I think that's a message for myself, maybe too late. Whatever your plans are, those that don't celebrate it, just enjoy the, the relaxing day. Those that do enjoy it, enjoy it. If you can get to see some of your family, I'm wonderful. But use the energy around you this weekend to give yourself a bit of a spring in the step. Give yourself a little bit of motivation for all the new energies that are coming up for us at this time of year. If you're watching and you're in a different continent where you've got moving into autumn time, or a fabulous time as well, to start to get rid of everything harvest what you've worked hard for so that you can really enjoy the winter months and the colder months there in peace knowing that all your efforts have worked out whatever we sow now in the spring we're going to reap the rewards in the autumn time so you've got six months to really get things going for you okay if you do want to book a reading with me, then just let me know. Contact me on www.katemay.co.uk. Do follow me on Instagram, Kate May Modern Day Mystic. If you're part of my group on Facebook, fabulous. If you're not and you'd like to join for daily lives, Kate May Modern Day Mystic there. And if you would like to join my VIP Mystic Members Lounge, the details are coming soon for a special group. Lots of interaction, law of attraction, life coaching, and obviously psychic development and the tarot, where we're bringing it all together. Please do subscribe to this channel for all the other videos and tutorials and let other people know. Drop me a comment if you've enjoyed this spread. If you would like to ask any questions, let me know and I will catch up with you soon. Probably a stone heavier after the weekend. Take care, everyone. Bye.